What's going on everybody? Welcome to my profitable morning routine. I think morning routines are super important and if you're like me and you like to have control over your day, especially at the start, this is the video for you. Not only am I gonna go over some really good habits to have in the morning or just in general, but they're also gonna be profitable ones. Habits that make you money. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't always been like this where I always have my stuff together and my mornings together and everything's scheduled and everything makes sense. Nah, the way I used to start my mornings was waking up, not wanting to get out of bed at all, looking at my alarm clock, putting it back on snooze, sleeping for another 15 or so minutes, then waking up even more tired than I was before I went back to sleep. And that's even less time I would have to do a morning routine, which my morning routine at that point was just when I finally do get up, scroll through Instagram for like 30 minutes, just mindlessly just scrolling through it. I don't know about you, but my guilty pleasure on Instagram is watching cooking videos. I love to watch cooking videos because it teaches me a little bit more how to cook. And plus that stuff be looking delicious. See, I'm what you would call a foodie. I, I love food. I, I like seeing different ways to make food. So that's what I would be in bed, just mindlessly scrolling, just through Instagram, random inspirational posts, cooking posts, stuff like that. And all that stuff is great, but I just found that it didn't really add any value to my morning. And I wasn't getting anything done. I was more tired when I did wake up. And then, and then here's the best part. It would be about time for me to go. And now I got like, what, maybe 15 minutes to get ready. And I definitely take more than 15 minutes to get ready. Cause I like to take my time, you know what I'm saying? But that makes me rush out of the house. Like, first of all, I'm rolling out of bed, so I'm not as mentally sharp as I would be. I'm finding any and everything to, to put on, get dressed, make sure it looks good, make sure it's ironed, all that good stuff, brushing my teeth. Like, it's just a big chaotic mess. And like I told you at the beginning of this video, I have to be in control of my day, especially the morning. Cause that's how it starts and that's what gives me my momentum to keep going throughout the day. And so I figured I would improve my morning routine and what better way to improve it then I'm making it very productive, healthy, and profitable. So that's what I did. So we're gonna get straight into this. First thing I do as soon as my alarm goes off, I'm out of the bed immediately. I don't, I don't do the whole laying down because the more time you feed yourself, you're gonna be like, ah, what was I thinking getting up? This? You're gonna be telling yourself this. What was I thinking about getting up this early, man? I don't need to be getting up this early. For what? What am I gonna do? Let me go on back to sleep. And then your mind's gonna be very logical because you know psychologically you want to be comfortable for as long as possible. So you'll talk yourself into either going back to sleep or just chilling in bed for that whole time. So now nah, as soon as I hear that sound, boom, I'm up, I'm out of the bed, I'm walking straight to the bathroom, which is right across from my room, and I'm brushing my teeth and I'm washing my face. Doing both of those things wakes my brain up. It's nothing complicated that I'm doing. And then of course the sensation from the water hitting my face definitely wakes me up too. Plus, you clean your teeth and your face. Like, you really can't lose with this one. And after I do that, I just do my regular skin routine. And I don't care what any of y'all say, if you're a man, you definitely need to have a skin routine. The, the ladies already done figured this one out. If you're a man, you gotta do it too. I hope y'all understand, like, people actually like it when you take care of yourself and take care of your skin. Rant over. And then right after that, I'm still standing, I'm still on my feet, you know what I'm saying? So I'm walking over to the kitchen at this point, and I usually don't eat when I first wake up because I'm usually not that hungry. Like I usually like to wait three to four hours after I wake up to eat. And that's just my thing. I just don't like waking up immediately then eating immediately. Like I don't think that's the way things are supposed to go. I definitely grew up like that. But ever since I've been living on my own, like I've never woke up one time like, oh man, I am just starving. I'm gonna just eat this and this and eggs, bacon, waffles. Like, like nah, I just, I don't really eat anything when I first wake up. But if I ever do feel hungry, what I'll do is I'll have a little protein shake just to hold me over for later. And the protein shakes I've been drinking lately have been the uh, Chips Ahoy by Ghost. They really do taste like Chips Ahoy. And if you know anything about me, y'all know I love my chocolate chip cookies. That's my favorite thing of all time. That's my favorite dessert, chocolate chip cookies. I'm solving my hunger problem temporarily and I'm satisfying my sweet tooth without all the sugar. Fun fact, during the week, I definitely try to avoid sugar as much as possible. I gotta keep this body right, you know what I'm saying? But notice I said try, I'm not perfect, so sometimes I do slip up and have some desserts during the week. I'm not perfect. I'm only human. And so after that, I like to fill up my water bottle with some cold water, gotta be cold, I don't like that lukewarm mess, gotta be cold. And my bottle of water is pretty big, it's like half a gallon in size. So I usually have that ready. So I start drinking it during the morning, like within my morning routine, but then just throughout the day, I take it with me so I can stay hydrated. Hydration is very, very important. 
I've been dehydrated before, like really dehydrated, and it's no fun. I'm telling you that right now. After I get all that stuff done, I'm pretty much awake. My brain is functioning. I don't feel like a groggy mess that just got out of bed anymore. And all this takes between like five and 10 minutes to do, depending on how slow I'm moving that morning. So from there, that's when I decide to sit down either at the desk behind me or I'll even sit in my bed just depending on what's going on for that day. And I will get to work on whatever is on my overactive mind at that time. See, see, the thing about me is when I go to bed, I have a lot of things on my mind. And when I wake up, I have even more things on my mind. So I have all these ideas and all these things I want to do. And I just write them down in my notes app on my phone. And I use this time right here. It's about an hour and a half total that I fully dedicate to just getting things done. And it could be something like editing YouTube videos, which I do a lot. Like it takes a long time to edit videos so I can break it down between nights, mornings, however I want to do it. And so I just break it down like that. So I could either be editing a YouTube video. I could be writing a book. Like for example, I just finished writing a book and I would dedicate this whole window of an hour and a half to writing a whole chapter or at least a few pages of that book. That way I had no excuse. Like writing that book was baked into my day every single day. So there was never an excuse to say, oh, I didn't get to write anything for my book this day. Like I wanted to get that book done as soon as possible. I wrote it in about three months. Super proud of it. It's coming out in August. More details coming. But yeah, stuff like that. And then I would spend mornings formatting the book, doing the page numbers, editing the book. Like, I mean, I went to work on this thing. Like I'm talking about five different times. I went through the whole book. I made my edits. Then I ran it through Grammarly. Then made some more edits. And then the other three times I just found little small things. Then I sent it over to an editor who I paid to edit it. And she did a fantastic job, by the way. You get what I'm saying? So like every little thing I do during this window is dedicated towards my entire brand, whether it's YouTube, whether it's making a Patreon video, whether it's shooting a thumbnail for a video or making a product or even making a new page on my website. Like this is what this whole time is for. I wake up two hours early than I normally would just so I could dedicate this whole hour and a half to pure work. And that's where a lot of the profitability is, is having that habit of putting in that work. Even if I, even if right after I do that, I'm going straight to my full-time job. Like that's just the dedication piece of it. And I love it so much. It really doesn't feel like I'm doing any work but it is time that I do need to schedule within my day or else I'm gonna find an excuse to not get it done. Oh, I'm too tired, I just worked a 14 hour shift. Now, if you start your day like that, you'll be good. And also within this time frame, I'm scheduling different times for different things. So I might use the whole hour and a half for like editing videos, or I might use like 30 minutes to shoot a thumbnail and edit a thumbnail. And then I might have like a 15 minute window of brainstorming title ideas for my YouTube channel or doing a little outline for a YouTube video or for a Patreon video. It's all about brand building. And it's something that I haven't been really that intentional about in the last few years. So I wanted to really hone in on it this year. It's been working out pretty good. It's also a really good time to skim over my YouTube analytics, see what's working, see what's not working, stuff like that. Also gives me time to respond to comments. Like I'm going on for a long time about this because this is my favorite part of my morning routine. Get stuff done early. By lunchtime, you got so much stuff done, it's, you feel like you're on top of the world. That's how I feel pretty much every single day, but I do have my off days. After doing all that, I like to do something that kind of relaxes my mind and eases my body while also just giving me really good ideas throughout the day. And my favorite thing to do when it comes to that is guided meditation. A while ago, I bought this course called Mind Mastery by the company called Alux. It's a really, really good course. It's like $250, but I say money well spent because I bought this like two years ago, but it guides you through a lot of pieces of life. And they have really good analogies. And this is not a commercial for them by any means. They're not paying me to do this. But if they want to, they can hit me up though. But I just think it's really good because I have a hectic life and most adults have hectic, busy lives, right? And I don't mean hectic in like a negative sense. I just mean there's a lot going on all the freaking time. And so when you're go, 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 like you don't even realize the amount of stress or I guess pressure that you would feel within your mind and within your body. And so it's good to like ease back relax, listen to a calming voice. And there's these cool little modules up there. Like one is like health, one is wealth, one is family. They have stuff to listen to when you're sad, stuff to listen to you when, when you wanna make stuff happen. Like they have a bunch of stuff. They even have stuff about work. Like it's really, really cool how vast the course is. 
So I just listen to those. They're about 10, 11 minutes long. And it's a great way to start the wind down process of the morning routine. And I'm not necessarily like sitting down in like the lotus position or anything like that. I could just be sitting down like I'm sitting right now and listening to it with my eyes closed, taking deep breaths. Like that right there is enough to keep you calm. But there's several different ways to do it. And it's the course that teaches you how to meditate. Super cool, but yeah, that's just what I like to do. I recently got back into it because it's really good with keeping my mind at ease while also keeping my mind sharp even after a, a work session. And I can't tell you how many ideas I actually get from doing this. It's like, wow, I just, I just got a video idea. Or I just have an idea that I want to talk about in my next book. Like I'm already thinking about my second and third book. Oh, you know what? That's, that's, that'll be really good for a course. Like I'm thinking of all these good ideas and I'm just writing them down. And some of them will never ever exist because they might not be good ideas. But what I'm saying is I'm coming up with a ton of ideas and some of them are pure gold. Again, profitability. After that, I like to take a look at the stock market just to see how it's performing for that day. I'm pretty much obsessed with the stock market. And I think it's really cool to look at just from day to day. And I just like to keep an eye on things, especially that it's on like my watch list, stuff that I'm planning on either buying or just looking at throughout the weeks and months, just to see if they get to a price point that I would actually buy at. But it's not to do anything. It's not even to buy stocks like at that time, because there's definitely a specific time that I buy stocks. But really, it's just to look at how it's performing. And to be honest, right now, it's performing like absolute crap which is fine by me because that means I can buy more of the best businesses in the world at a deep discount which I like because when they shoot back up that's gonna be nice profit at this point I'm getting dressed which by the way my clothes are already laid out the previous night ironed and everything all I gotta do is go into the living room put my clothes on I'm good to go and of course before that I put deodorant lotion and spray a little bit of cologne on gotta be smelling good you know what I'm saying gotta be presentable at all times at least that's my motto from there I head straight to work and if I cook the previous night like I usually do I take some food with me and I'm out or if I'm off work that day I'm going straight to the gym after that do you understand like how productive this morning routine is you did all that you did your work you did your meditation so you're cool you're in a good mood you got dressed, now you're going to work or you're going to the gym, like you feel good after doing that type of stuff. So then you look forward to actually waking up in the morning. You don't feel like just like, oh, I don't want to get up. Like, nah, you, you have to shake that because on the other side of that exhaustion, there is something that is special. And that's finding something that you're passionate about. That's finding something that is worth getting up for. And it's just waking up early, living life, getting stuff done before you would have ever gotten stuff done. Like most people can't get that amount of stuff done by lunch, but you're done at like eight o'clock. And that's, that's just getting started. That's not including everything else I'm gonna do throughout the day. That's not including everything else I'm gonna do once I get back home. That's just the first fraction of the day. Got a little excited there about knocking my camera over. I gotta be careful. But yeah, when I'm on the way to work or to the gym, whatever the case is, I like to listen to a podcast and I'm into stuff that's like personal development, business, money, investing, real estate, stuff like that. Like I'm really, really into that stuff because it builds on my educational level. I learned a lot of things that I didn't know just by listening to people have conversations. And I like podcasts because it's kind of like eavesdropping on really smart people just have a regular conversation. And they say stuff that you didn't know about. It's really cool, I like that. And then I get to looking into it myself and I'm building like whole new skills based off of listening to one podcast. They're free. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome to listen to. And if they're long podcasts, like let's say an hour and a half or more, I just split them up between pieces because it definitely, it doesn't take me that long to get to work or to the gym. But yeah, really, really cool. I like stuff like Bigger Pockets, Earn Your Leisure, Specific, specific to the Earn Your Leisure podcast, I really like listening to Market Mondays. But on top of that, I like listening to other podcasts that are just talking about people like your regular everyday people, regular everyday people building multi-million dollar businesses. It's just really inspiring to listen to and it's really cool to understand their mindset. The Smart Passive Income podcast and Work Less, Earn More podcast, like stuff like that, I really like listening to. And I like discovering new podcasts too. I haven't discovered any yet this year that are like new that I haven't heard of yet that I really want to listen to every day. But the ones I just named are phenomenal. And again, it really gets the mind going because that's how you want to start off your day. You want to be as mentally sharp as possible. At least I do. I never like starting off my day like just getting out of bed, just getting dressed, just getting out of the door and just making it to work on time. 
or even being just behind schedule for everything like like i like to have that momentum that positive momentum like i'm on time i'm early i'm out of bed i'm doing this i'm doing this i got this 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 and this done today i'm on top of the world let's go let's tackle the day and it makes you more resilient to challenges and i just think it makes me better as a person so i love this and i say all that to say like everything i do within my morning routine is a step to help me improve the first step like it starts with the very first step getting out of bed immediately i'm improving because what i used to do was wait when i get up and then it'll be like five minutes past the alarm ringing and i'm still not out of bed yet i could have been done having my teeth brushed and my face washed i could have been having my protein shake by then you get what i'm saying and so that first step is improving because the more time you feed yourself once you wake up you're going to stay in the same spot five, 10, 15 minutes go by, man, where did the time go? What do you mean where the, you've been sitting there the whole time doing nothing? And how much value does it add to your life? None. And what gets me fired up every single day is the fact that I know I have goals I wanna achieve. And I keep telling myself, I'm successful now and I'm grateful for where I am, but I could be further along, I can improve. I can't complain about being off track for my goal of early retirement if I'm just sitting in the bed all morning not doing nothing every single day. You're gonna have your days where you wanna chill or sleep in or whatever the case is, that's fine. But every single day, for the most part, I don't wanna miss. I wanna be consistent with everything I do. And I wanna reach my goals. And sitting in that bed ain't helping me reach it. So that's the first one, getting out of bed immediately, brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth, and, during, and while I'm doing that, I'm also flossing, and then washing my face. While I'm doing that, I'm also doing my skin routine. I'm putting deodorant on. So now I've just become more effective in getting ready for the day, because now that those are steps I don't have to take later on in my morning routine. Now I'm having a protein shake, and that's waking me up, because protein definitely wakes you up in the morning if you didn't know that. It does so without the caffeine of coffee, and I like coffee, but I don't like to start my day off with it. And if I'm a little hungry, it definitely satisfies my hunger and my sweet tooth. That's improving. And then, and then after that, I hydrate. And so these habits early on, it gets you ready for the rest of the day. You know how many times I forgot my water bottle because I didn't start the day off with that? Now that I start the day off with that, I'm good. And I stay hydrated. These are improvements. These are things that I used to lack in that now I'm improving. And then I start working on my brand, my business, my passion. I'm improving on that. I didn't used to do all this stuff. I used to only focus on YouTube. Now I'm focusing on YouTube, my book, my products, my website, my Patreon, my coaching services, all of that. And it's a really cool thing to see come together. Then I'm building on my education. I'm building on my skill set when I'm listening to the podcast. And you know, if I'm not listening to a podcast, I'm definitely reading a book on Audible or I'm reading like a physical book during the last part of my morning routine. It just depends. I switch it up sometimes, but it's all valuable stuff. And it's crazy because a lot of the skills that I'm able to build through YouTube and my brand building and my business and everything like that, it's also translating directly over to work. So it's increasing my performance, it's improving my performance, which in turn improves pay over time, which it has several times over. So that, my friends, is my profitable morning routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. Really had fun with this one. And if you like the morning routine or if you have your own morning routine that you do yourself that you feel is best for you, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'm interested to know what you guys do during your morning routine and how it's changed your day just by doing it. Because there's a big difference. For y'all that do morning routines regularly, there's a big difference between a regular day where you don't have a morning routine and then the days that you do a morning routine. Like you feel like, like it feels like your life is completely upside down sometimes when you wake up and don't do a morning routine. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what is your morning routine? How has it changed you? Or you could even put how morning routines have improved your life. Looking forward to seeing it. But anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.